Good morning children. Today I am going to teach geography class 10 and the topic is the climate of India. What is the difference between climate and weather? Weather means the atmospheric conditions of a place for a short duration, say one day, two day. We don't say today's climate is very good. We say today's weather is very good. Uh, it is uh, either very foggy or is very pleasant. But when we talk about climate, that means the climate of a place is actually the weather conditions of a place for a long duration of time. The climate of India is known as the tropical monsoonal type of climate. The two main factors are there that actually greatly influences the climate of our country. They are the tropic, that is the tropic of cancer that divides India into two parts, northern part and the southern part. And the second is the monsoon that greatly influences the whole country. That's the reason we call it the tropical monsoonal climate. What are the factors that affect the climate of India? The factors broadly they are under these names location, Himalayas, the altitude, distance from the sea, western disturbance, the jet stream, and the El Nino effect. We will take one factor at a time. The first is the location. The location, India is partly, India is now situated in, in a play uh, in such a way that the Tropic of Cancer, that is 23 and a half degrees north, divides India into two parts. And the lower part of India is greatly influenced by the seas and so we have the lower part greatly influenced by the monsoon and we have maritime type of climate particularly in the areas close to the sea. Above the Tropic of Cancer we have the high mountains and Himalayas play a big role and uh, we, when we come to the Himalayas I will talk more about it and so we have the continental type of climate above the Tropic of Cancer. Second factor is the Himalayas. Himalayas play a big role particularly in the climate of our country. The Himalayas actually they block the rain bearing winds during the summer time and doesn't allow it to go across and thus gives heavy rainfall particularly in the foothills of the Himalayas and the northern plains. The other thing that the Himalayas does it stops the cold bearing winds that normally would have come from Siberia the cold dry winds and that would have really created havoc. So it stops the cold dry winds that would have come from Siberia. The third is the altitude. You know the higher we go the cooler we feel. For a 166 meters high one degree temperature goes down. So places that are higher up they are cooler and places that are close to the sea level they are warm. The next factor is the distance from the sea. India lower down below is a peninsula and it is greatly influenced by the three seas the Arabian Sea, the Bay of Bengal and the Indian Ocean and so we have maritime type of climate particularly in the coastal areas. Areas far away from the sea they have extremes of climate and we call it the continental type. The next important factor is the western disturbance. And what is the western disturbance? 
Actually, I would say Western disturbance is actually good for our country because it brings moisture laden winds from the Mediterranean Sea. You know, it is a gift from nature how the moisture laden winds from far away, the Mediterranean Sea, can come to India and give rain and snow. Now, scientists are now studying about the jet stream, which they say actually helps to bring the moisture laden winds from the Mediterranean Sea. On the eastern side of the Mediterranean Sea, there are cyclonic storms during the winter months. And the jet streams actually help to bring the rains. It crosses Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan, and then and Pakistan, and then brings moisture also to our country. It gives snow in the upper regions, and good rain up to Punjab and Haryana for the winter crops. Now we come to the jet stream. What are jet streams? Now jet streams were discovered say about two decades ago. Scientists are still working on it and trying to do more research how the jet stream affects the climate of our country. They say Jet streams actually helps to bring in the monsoon winds from the seas. It brings in the western disturbance. And what are jet streams? Jet streams are strong air currents that blow around 8 to 10 kilometers above the surface of the earth. And these jet streams, are, they are the western jet stream that blow over the northern plains during the winter time and they bring the moisture laden winds from the Mediterranean Sea. The eastern jet stream, they bring the tropical depressions to India. The next factor is called the El Nino effect. What is the meaning of El Nino? El Nino actually means baby Christ. Now this phenomenon occurs particularly during the Christmas time so they have named it El Nino. What happens the cold Peru current you know they are actually the cold current but once in five six years they become warm Peru current of the coast of Peru and it increases the temperature of the Pacific Ocean by about 10 degrees. When that happens, the whole world's climatic conditions are disturbed. And as a result, India is also badly affected. All the famine that occurred in India, most of the famines occurred particularly during the time when the El Nino effect was there. And scientists are still working on it to find out how the cold Peru current changes to warm Peru current when the temperature of the Pacific Ocean increases by 10 degrees it actually pulls the moisture laden winds of the monsoon towards Africa and we get a bad monsoon our monsoon is very weak and that affects the economy of our country now this is about the factors affecting the climate of India. India, the seasons are broadly divided into four. We have the hot dry season, the rainy season, the season of the retreating monsoon and the cold season. Now before I go into each of these seasons children, I want to talk about the stormy weather during the hot dry season hot dry season the sun is actually in the tropic of cancer and the temperature is very high temperature very high means very very high low pressure is created over the indian subcontinent and thar desert chota nagpur belt there is very it's very very hot 
people actually suffer you know the rivers the streams dry up and people are waiting for the rainy season to come and the temperature goes up to about 40 to 45 degrees or up to 50 degrees in the Thar desert area Chota Nagpur belt area and this actually occurs from March up to May and sometimes it extends to June and actually the hot dry season at the end of that it brings the rain rains which is much awaited but during this hot dry season the there are stormy weather in the Indian subcontinent and some of the local storms that we need to know about are the Kal Baisakhi, the Lu and the Mango Shar. Kal Baisakhi actually blows during April, May and it is called the Calamity of the Baisak. It is also known as the Norwesters. It is good for the tea crop in Assam and good for the jute and rice crop in West Bengal. During this time, the hot season, there is a very strong hot wind that blows, which is called L double O Lu. Hot, dusty, dry winds, May to June. And normally during this time, people don't come out of the homes during the summertime, during the daytime, unless it is very important and you'll find people's faces covered you know to avoid the hot winds it brings the temperature up to 50 degrees the third is the mango shower now mango shower actually this particular shower occurs in the southern part of our country that is in Kerala and Karnataka it is also known as the cherry blossom and this is good for the mango crop in south, the tea crop and the coffee crop. Thank you children. We, I will continue with the next segment of the climate of India in the next video.